Hello there ladies and gentlemen guys, welcome back to another Counter-Strike Global Offensive video and today we are back. It's actually been quite some time since I've actually uploaded a gameplay and not streaming. Uh, my recent streams have been getting quite some views and that's why I've been enjoying um, kind of cheating and playing at the same time. Also, I also have a job interview today at 3pm. The time is 11.53 as I'm making this video. So I decided to hop into some wingman and give you guys some gameplay. Actually, this gameplay is a couple days old actually and um, pretty much I just really didn't have the time to actually commentate over it uploaded i decided to just do it today since i currently have some time for myself so now here's the situation where i live i'm not really allowed to do these videos and i'm not allowed to actually sit around and do nothing all day i'm either supposed to be in school or have a job now youtube is technically not considered a job so because the government it, they, you know people where i live they, they don't know how much you make on youtube so it depends so Pretty much, I really can't do YouTube videos as much as I used to anymore. I mean, I can, but the fact is I just can't be sitting around all day playing video games like I used to. I either have to be in school or have an actual job. And, um, of course, today I actually have an interview today at Best Buy. And I'm supposed to be going there at 3 p.m., so I'm going to get ready very soon after this video. And I'm going to actually be working with a lot of technology. I love technology. If you guys ever noticed, I'm like a fanatic. I've built my own PC. I love building PCs for others. I love helping people out with problems with their computers, like, oh, they have a virus. They don't know how to install Windows. They don't know how to build a PC. You know, I'm there to help you guys, and that's what I love about doing PC work. Um, so that would be a, a quite interesting job. Hopefully nothing goes wrong and I'm able to get the job, secure the job because I definitely don't want to do community service. That's basically free work. So honestly, um, the reason why I cheat in CSGO is because my channel was dying a long time ago. Um, if you guys ever noticed it, I was barely getting any views. When I used to play Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, I used to get around 300, 400 views on all my videos. I was never lacking on videos. Then at, uh, when Black Ops 2 kind of died out, I started to switch to CSGO. And about a year and a half, I was doing okay. But then after like a, two years later... I wasn't really getting any more views and that was pretty much when CSGO kind of like my career kind of died. So then I turned into cheating. Uh, I made my first stream cheating like a long time ago, but I don't think anyone's really noticed it. But now people have been noticed that I've been banned on Twitch for cheating, obviously, uh, for a 24-hour suspension. And I got my Twitch account ever since then back. But um, pretty much I've been cheating because if one, it gets me more views and people will actually eventually know me in the HVH community. Um, I actually been kind of help my friends been helping me code some sheets. Um, so we've been working on a project right now. It's called Prexware. Uh, it's a completely scratch build. Um, it's going to sell like Unity kind of. We're going to sell them, but like cheaply, not too expensively, maybe like $10 or something. Just kidding. Cheating is for fags. Who cheats in a VAC security game anyways? But anyways, um, yeah, I've just been enjoying a lot of cheating and legit cheating, and it's actually been cool. Um, I have maybe one or two accounts banned from the process of doing this, but at the end of the day, I'm still having fun. Like, I legit cheat. I usually just use chams and just skin changer and i just stream and then like 20 to 50 people watch the stream and that's pretty good when i used to stream before i used to get like six or seven viewers now i get like 20 or 40 concurrent viewers and that's pretty cool and um i just been enjoying life the way it should be you know just been having fun playing cs and just living life as it's supposed to so these guys in this game were actually using skeet believe it or not they actually said they were using skeet and they actually had the game sentence tag um, uh, last game I was playing against them and they actually had the game sense tag and I was not able to record it because my action, my software was not working. So I had to restart CS, re-inject my cheat, come back and then everything was fine. And, um, apparently this time they don't use their game sense clan tag, but they were hundred percent using ski, uh, skied game sense. So, um, <clears throat> it was not a paste either. It was actually a complete concurrent ski. It's just literally just said game sense on it. It was like a whole config of it. It just said game sense. That's what it said. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, I heard it's very difficult to get invited to Skeet. You need an invite, but if I do get invited into Skeet, maybe most likely not, I will be giving away an invite code, I guess, if I do ever get invited to Skeet. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned for that if you guys really want to know about that. And people, this game is really re pretty much dead. So I don't understand why people can actually make a big deal out of it if you're cheating. Like, if you're just cheating with other cheaters, and I mean, it, it's okay, but like, if you're cheating, like, all the time like i don't cheat every all the time i cheat like maybe once or twice a week three times a week and i just play on my main account because i recently bought skins on my main and i decided to just have some fun on my main you know just chilling and stuff like that so yeah i would never pretty much um <clears throat> i'd never really just cheat all the time but i do have a subscription i have a lifetime of aimware and i did hear some news about interwebs having an update for the hvht i've Aimware, my Aimware configs have been toasted by the uh, new Unity recode. Like, I've been losing so much, and especially from Biohazard, he's like a really good HVH person. 
Um, anything I use, I cannot hit him. I can't kill him. It's like Skeet. Like, Skeet is very difficult. It's not impossible, but it's difficult to kill. Um, but I try and stuff like that. But I always have fun at the end of the day. It doesn't really bother me. And this is Wingman. So, the, you know, it doesn't really bother me. I just go for the XP so I can get to Prime. And then just legit cheat. That's pretty much what I want to do. Legit cheat myself to global. But you know, that's not really possible nowadays because there's so many cheaters who actually cheat in the global rank. And the only way to actually achieve global now, pretty much, is to either have a five man queue of cheaters or to do the vertigo boosting service. You pay someone to actually boost your account to global elite. And then you just say, hey, I got global elite. And then you lose the rank afterwards because of the cheaters. Now, I didn't really want to make this video that long. I decided to just record this whole game, and I actually did end up finding him again the second time. Well, the third time. I queued again, and I found him again. It was actually pretty interesting. Um, You know, just having some fun and stuff like that. But if you guys do want an HVH, you can just comment down below in the description, or you can add me on Steam, of course. And definitely, it would be kind of cool to have people uh, HVHing me just for videos and stuff like that. Um, Call of Duty is right around the corner, literally, like, uh, three days, I believe. In three days, the new Call of Duty will come out, and I most likely will be playing that game. I'm not sure. It actually depends on the amount of people. So, I'm going to wait. The f when the first day it comes, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to wait about a week. And if a week later it has, like, maybe fifty to 60,000 players concurrently, like, every day, the player doesn't decrease by 10,000 people every day, I will most likely get the game, and I will just be doing videos on that. And CSGO will definitely be taking a long time break, because if the World War II is just like Black Ops 2, I guess I'm going to have a whole nother four years of experience of having fun on Call of Duty again, and I won't be playing CS for a long time, because I, I, I don't like this game anymore. It's just so boring that I, it's boring, like, it's literally the same shit. Um, usually, I, I keep playing because I have skins, and then it's fun, but then after a while, it honestly just gets boring, and like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I just want to, you know, have some fun. I want to play something else. You know, do something else. That's why I decided to, one of the reasons why I decided to get a job. Also, one of the reasons why I decided to just stop playing this game entirely. And just, 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 when I play this game, I just cheat on it. But usually I play on my main now. If you go on my main account, I have like 60 hours past two weeks. Because I've been playing a lot on my main. I've been grinding from the Ellie to the Supreme. And then I'm going for Global. Hopefully I can get Global. And, you know, just been chilling, having fun. And just, just been thinking about life. Because life is pretty much like, I miss school so much. And I know in January, I'm most likely going to go back to school. And I just really want to enjoy myself at the moment because I just, I don't know. It's just difficult to explain the fact that you're you're not even in school. I miss being yelled at by the teachers. I miss having hard assignments. I miss a lot of things about school. And just sitting home all day and doing nothing is boring. People on my Snapchat say, oh, you get to be home all the time, all day, every day. Listen, buddy, it is literally the most boring thing. It, it may be fun for a while, maybe like a month or two. Yeah, it may be cool to be home for a little bit. But then you realize you don't have a social life. You don't have all your friends like in high school left. Like they're not even your friends. They were just there just to pass time. Like in high school for me, I thought I had a lot of friends that I would last for a long time. But once we left high school, we all pretty much just separated with each other, except for the people who are actually really good friends with each other. High school does separate people, unless you guys are really, 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 honestly, the closest friends in the world. The people you meet in high school, you may never see them. I mean, you won't ever hang out with them, but if you ever see them, they would, you know, they'll dap you up. If you don't know what a dap is, it's like giving you like a handshake, but in a New York style way. You know, handshake, you're like, yo, what's up, bro? It's been a long time, blah, blah, blah. And you continue walking. You don't say, hey, you want to hang out this Friday night, get some beer? You know, it don't work that way. Like, it's just, that's it. Once high school's over, it's pretty much over. At least in my experience, and I have kind of got depressed from it because I do miss all my high school friends. I definitely um, loved going to school. I actually looked forward to going to school, even though the work was hard. I hated waking up in the morning, but I just always look, looked forward to going to school. I loved going to school early in the morning just to talk to some friends and have some fun. But I do have some friends on the side. It's just it wasn't as many as I used to be like as, as, as I was in school. It's kind of sad but at the end of the day you realize who your real friends are and the people you wasted time with don't really matter anymore because once you get into the real world there really is no friends like the only way you can actually make friends is if you go to a university where you can actually dorm if you go to a community college you're not really going to make friends or nothing like that it's just between classes and you got to go to class every now and then and you may make some friends from group projects but other than that you don't have any friends and it's your last friends are basically from middle school and high school. And once those are over, those are your real friends. And you will find out who those real people are. And I, I don't know. It's just sad. And I kind of like think about it a lot. I'm like, damn, I wish I had. I wish I never took those friendships I had for granted because maybe I could have kept them as all friends. Every time they asked me to hang out, I should have stayed. I should have just, you know, do with it, whatever we could together to spend time. And as school is over, we don't have that time anymore because we're in college or we have jobs and we're supporting families or we're having families. It's, 
one of the saddest moments in life. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, please leave a thumbs up. And also, subscribe if you haven't to the channel. And comment down below. And, you know, hopefully we can HVH and have some fun. And I'll see you guys there. You all have a wonderful day, guys. I'm Prex Styles. Peace out, guys.